when it comes to our relationship with China, our Prime Minister is naive. China is obviously one of the largest, fastest growing economies in the world. We want to be able to participate in the growth, but we also want to make sure that it doesn't constrain our national security and make us vulnerable from an economic, military, defense and security perspective. We want to leverage those opportunities, but make sure that we balance it and defend democratic principles, human rights, rule of law, and our own domestic national security issues. Over the last four years, we've seen Canada's relationship with China deteriorate rapidly. Everything from trade relationships where we're having our canola farmers punished by not being able to export their canola to uh, defense and security relationships around Huawei. And we need to, as parliamentarians, look into that relationship. And so we, as Canada's Conservatives, have put an opposition day motion forward to review and examine all aspects of the Canada-Chinese relationship. The special committee, it will give us the opportunity as parliamentarians to do the job that we were sent here to do, to hold the government to account, but to be able to examine and review in depth all of the aspects of this very complicated relationship and to be able to provide recommendations from an all-party perspective to the government on how they should proceed. First and foremost, unfortunately, it looks like this Liberal government just doesn't have a plan. There just doesn't appear to be any kind of well thought out comprehensive strategy. I think that we have to be honest. I think we can't afford to be naive and I think we have to look at the facts as they are and entertain all possibilities and prepare ourselves accordingly. Yeas pour 171, 171, nays count 148. Yeah!